today we have more than 500 students from the Calgary area and surrounding regions and they're taking part in the annual APEGA Science Olympics. It's an annual science competition that helps kids learn uh, how science is applicable to their everyday lives. Well, we um, kind of wanted to um, just actually cross the finish line and um, another goal was to keep the egg um, that we used um, in an egg pouch, but instead we used that one and we just taped it to the platform. It's really interesting to see the variety of solutions the students come up with. It's amazing to see the creativity and the teamwork that goes into it. We are design we're designing a tallest tower and what we have to do is we have to get the tallest tower with the mo or with uh, having uh, goal poles at the top. We have to have up to 10 goal poles at the top. Goal poles have to be the tallest part of the tower. Not no, not one of us could have built this by ourselves. I mean it's just too hard to do uh, you need a team to be able to build this kind of uh, structure. I'm really pleased that my daughter is showing an interest in science and I'm really glad that she enjoyed this team experience. And working together in a team is something that you know we all need to learn how to do. And she emerged as a leader in her group. Uh, so I'm proud of her for having a positive attitude and uh, finishing it, you know? I think it's a great way to bring more students into the science and engineering field because it, it introduces them to the fun aspects of science. I mean, there's, there's a lot of stigma around that you have to be smart to be a scientist. And it's really important to remember that you also need to be creative. And there's many different types of sciences that students can get involved in.